printing is not necessarily as easy as you would hope it would be, so let's take a look at how to do this. Let's take this picture of my friend Becca and give it a print, because I really want that on my wall. Hit the share arrow thing there, and then you'll see there's a little button that says print. Okay, so I want one copy of it, but I don't have a printer selected. I'm going to select my printer. It's looking for one. No printers found. Well, this might be because I don't have any shared printers or OS 10, 10 6.5, 10.6.5 .5 installed. So let's get on that. So even if you have OS 10, 10.6.5 installed and iOS 4.2, you can't exactly use AirPrint because Apple removed it from the update. It's still supported in iOS 4.2, but 10.6.5 doesn't have the necessary files. Of course, you can add them through a little application called AirPrint Hacktivator, or you can actually do it yourself. And those are all available in this post and on lifehacker.com. So you can check out AirPrint Hacktivator, download the files all on your own, um, and there are a couple of other options, like Printopia, which is a piece of software you install that not only lets you print um, from your iPhone or iPad, but also allows you to print from your iPhone or iPad to a virtual printer, um, saving a file as a JPEG or a PDF. Now, that'll run you $10, but that's what you pay for the ease of use and extra features. So once you have one of these things installed, let's say you've activated printing as it was meant to be through AirPrint Hacktivator or manually through the files, then you'll be able to restart and enable shared printing just like you would as if iOS 10.6.5 actually included the proper update. So you open up System Preferences when you're done, go into Sharing, find your printer sharing, turn it on, and check off your printer. Now if it's not working right away, then you can turn all of this off and you want to open your Print Preferences and delete the printer and re-add it. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and share it on the network. But just so you know, if you click share this printer on the network, that doesn't mean it will be on in the printer sharing preferences, so make sure you turn it on again. Okay, let's give this one more try. There's photos. There's Becca. Let's try to print something. Oh, let's select a printer. What's that? Oh, it's there's two printers here. Oh, that's very exciting. All right, we're going to use the Epson Artisan because this is a photo. I'm going to hit print and see what happens. Apparently, nothing is happening. Oh, what's that over there? Something's printing. Interesting. Well, <laughs> it did come out of the printer. How about we print these lovely screenshots from the iPhone writing pack? I sent these to myself. So if I want to print a document or an email, I oop, do not hit that button, I hit this button, the reply button, and choose print. And there's the artisan, but let's just do this on the brother because we don't want to waste all that color ink. I'm going to print that. Let's go see what happens. Hopefully, it will look better than this. Oh, it's coming back. Looks like we're getting duplex. <laughs> Double sided, even. That worked out. And here we are. It's iPad printing for real there. And more. So, not so great with photos. Pretty good with documents.